Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about the business test cases, which are an option under the test cases section in Tosca workspace. Now, what are these business test cases and how are they useful? So business test cases help you to basically give you an overview of the end-to-end -end scenarios. And these end-to-end -end scenarios could be made up of individual test cases that cover different requirements, or it could also cover different releases or different applications. So these business test cases, they are created in order to determine the order of the test cases which needs to be executed and how they should be assigned. Also, they are used to map the chronological and business perspective together. So business execution lists, which we create, they combine different execution lists, which have been executed in a certain chronological order. And then uh, they are uh, brought together into a single unit. So looking at those results, uh, we can make different perspectives of the complete business processes. So these are not concentrated on specific test cases or a specific areas of your application. These are more wider business processes. So you need to combine a lot of different test cases to make a complete end-to-end -end business flow. And then when you combine the results of all the execution lists which are linked to all these different test cases, you can give a business perspective to your uh, management on whether this business process is working or something is broken within this business process. And this might include different applications, different releases, different execution runs, or uh, different test cases. Let's see now how we can create a business test case and how we can create a business execution list, how we can link uh, all of this together and get an overview of the end-to-end -end business process. So coming to our test cases section, so here um, under the demo web shop, I have created three different test cases. One is for registering a user, one is logging a user, and one is the order processing. So these are the three main functionalities uh, which I want to test, which might be part of one of my requirements or might be part of one of my business process. So this is like an end-to-end -end scenario, which I want to test uh, in my application. So to create a business test case, I have created a folder called business scenarios under which I'll be creating my business test case. So right click on that folder and then you will find a brief case like sign, which uh, indicates that you can create a business test case using this particular option. So click on that and then this will be your business test case. So I'm going to name this end-to-end -end scenario, okay? And this end-to-end -end scenario will contain all the different flows which is part of this scenario. So um, I'm going to uh, drag all of these different test cases into this particular business test case. Uh, which is the end-to-end -end scenario. Now keep in mind that when you create a business test case, it is only a structural test case. It is not a test case which you can execute, okay? So it only contains the reference of the test cases which it is linked to. So you can consider it as a structure which contains all the different test cases which you want to create a business flow for yourself, okay? So this is a business test case now, which contains all the different test cases which are linked to it. Uh, now we also need to create a business execution list, okay? And for that, uh, we'll again go to demo web shop and here I have got the business scenarios. So here I am going to create a business execution list, okay? Now, um, again, I'm going to name this as end to end scenario and then um, I'm going to uh, link this to our business test case okay 
So I'm going to drag and drop this business test case into this business execution list. Now, uh, apart from this, we also need to link the individual execution list related to this test cases to this business execution list. Okay, so um, now let's drag and drop the individual execution list. Okay, and it should be in a specific order. Okay, so let's see if these are in the specific order. Okay, so first register, then login, and then order processing. So it is in the specific order which it should be. Okay, now the business execution list is also only a structure you cannot actually execute this so there is no option to execute a business execution list or a business test case so now what it will do it will uh, concatenate all the results from all these different execution lists which you have linked and you will get an overview of your end-to-end -end business test flow of what is the result okay so in this you can see it has already uh, taken all the results from the execution list and it is showing it here so our register user flow is working fine our login user flow is working fine but our order processing flow is currently failing okay so this is the part which is not working in the complete end-to-end -end business flow and this is what we can communicate back to the business that this is the part which is not working so we need to work on this and we can fix this uh, and then the business flow uh, would be working uh, on an end-to-end -end basis now this is just one example of how you can do this um, as i said it could contain different applications so you can drag different test cases from different applications or maybe if you want to get a uh, business flow for uh, different releases, so you can drag uh, different uh, execution lists from different release executions which you have done earlier, and then you can provide the business a proper view of what is the current scenario for the end-to-end -end business flows. Okay, so this business test cases and business execution lists are used for providing a perspective to your complete end-to-end -end business scenarios and this is how you can create them um, and how you can link them together that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video